What's up guys, Kyle here with Crypto Theory. All right, back with another low cap altcoin gem video. You guys love these videos, we love making them, so we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right in, and right before we do guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you get notified every single time that we drop a video, and smash up those likes. If you like low cap gems, this is the video for you. Now remember guys, before we jump into them, we've got two of them that we're gonna cover in this one right here. Uh, before we do, remember, this is not professional financial advice. These are speculative pitches you know plain and simple you know they're they're either brand new or they're just a low capper in general that you know what it could go way up it could go back down to zero it's a lotto ticket it's a shot in the dark it's throwing darts basically so just know that uh, going into it and you know obviously do your own research and invest with what you can afford to lose because then if you do end up losing it you know what it's okay but if it hits it big like they have the potential to then you're gonna be really happy okay so like I said we've got two of them first First one up, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to jump right in called Fear. Okay, really interesting one right here. And this is a brand new project. Let me get it pulled up here on the regular chart so you guys can see it. I mean, brand spanking new, literally about 10 days old. And you can see it's had quite a retracement from where it first started out, above two bucks. It was actually all time high on the 26th when it first launched, looks like, uh, was 324. And right now, sitting at 65 cents. So, I mean, this thing, just to get back to where it was, is like a four or five X, basically four and a half, five X from, from where it was. Um, so that right there is, is a good sign in general that, you know, there could be some nice gains to be had just to get back to its previous all time high. Now, um, with that being said, it would need to get back there. But if you take a look at it, you know, 24 hour volume is not great, obviously, but we, they don't even have the market cap on this thing fully figured out yet. Now, circulating supply, only 65 million in terms of total max supply that they're going to have. So very, very interesting. I mean, there's not a huge max supply. 24 hour volume, you'd like that to be bigger, but let's take a look and see what markets it's on. Yeah, I mean, it's not on anything big. It's on KuCoin. I will say that it is on KuCoin. It's doing, you know, the bulk of its volume on there. So you'd like to see that volume a little bit higher. I mean, you get Uniswap, Pancake Swap, and everything, but I think eventually, uh, if this thing does catch on, you'll see that that volume rise quite a bit. Now, what is fear? Okay, this is, this is I got to be honest, this is a pretty cool project, I think. So right here, your, uh, your worst nightmare is tokenized. Horrifying games await. Fear is a blockchain horror gaming and NFT project from the creators of the famous Whack It games. Now, if we go down through, you can see what they're talking about. Whack your neighbor, whack your, uh, whack the burglars, whack the creeps. So it's a whole game that they have going on. And take a look at it. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, some of these 39 million plays and 62 million views, 53 million plays, 97 million views. I mean, very, very popular right here. I'll, I'll be 100% honest. I was not familiar with you know those games prior to this, but as I started researching the product or project. Um, I started looking into these a little bit. Yeah, they are very, very popular. A lot of people love them. And guys, here's the thing. You know, the, that whole genre, the horror genre, you know, it doesn't matter if it's movies, games, whatever it may be, uh, is massively popular. I mean, the horror and, and you know, not even necessarily sci-fi, but like, um, I, don't, I, I guess I don't even know what another another word to describe it would be, but that whole genre, extremely popular, and the, the fan base for it is extremely loyal. So, you know, this is the type of thing I could see, it, especially, I mean, you can see there's some big, big YouTubers that, are, uh, that have covered it before as well. Um, I could see this thing blowing up if you get the right audience behind it and everything, and you get the right YouTubers and content creators backing this and everything. And you can see, you know, they're going to have all sorts of NFT stuff, staking and farming, gameplay, trade. Trailer. Uh, okay, so they're going to have the, the trailer for the game that they're actually unveiling on this. Um, that's kind of cool. Play to Earn. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, the flagship game launching in Q4. Mystery game launch. You know, so they got a lot going on in Q4, Q3. Same thing. Um, you know, quite a. It looks like they got quite a bit going on, and um, they've been hitting their goals. It seems like pretty much each time for the most part. So uh, very, very interesting in my opinion. I, I like the uh, I like the project. You know, I, I'll admit this isn't like my favorite genre of movies or games or anything like that. But it's always interesting, you know. It's always it's always fun to watch a horror movie, you know. Uh, any type of scary movie like that's always fun. Same thing with the games and everything. It's always interesting. The thriller, I guess, I guess you could call it too, like a thriller style thing. So um, I could see this thing absolutely blowing up though, because it does have a huge genre. So um, I'm definitely looking into this one very, very heavily, and we'll keep you guys posted on that for sure. Now the other one. Etherlander, Eland, okay. So you can see right here, sitting at just over three cents. Uh, it's up 18 or 17 percent today. However, compared to where it's been, 
uh, <laughs> you know, it literally was just at its all-time low a couple of days ago, and it wasn't that long ago that it was at its previous all-time high. Now, this is, again, another project that's not that old. You know, it launched a few months ago, and it's definitely way down from where we've seen it. We've seen it up as high as 45 cents, 44 cents. So this thing could, uh, theoretically, just to get back to its previous all-time high, that would be like a 13x roughly somewhere in there so that would be really interesting if it just got back to there and it has the potential who knows maybe it goes even higher than that okay so where can you pick up uh elan again guys this is all speculative uh not professional financial advice at all uh so uniswap and uh pancake swap so as is the case you guys know at this point with a lot of these projects like the uh, like this that is kind of the case with that okay so what is Etherland, okay? And there's two different websites that you can pull up on CoinGecko. Let's get it up to the top here so you can see this right here. Basically, buy digital land, empower people, okay? And we've seen other projects like this that are very, very popular, and we're bullish on these type of projects because I do think there's gonna be a space for it, okay? Connecting the Ethereum blockchain ecosystem with digital items of real world places. Okay, so join the community of digital landowners and you can join any one of their social uh, social sites there and everything. And you can go down through and kind of see all this, but I want to pull up this one right here. Connecting the blockchain to global real estate. Welcome to Estatepedia, built, owned, and managed by the people on an immutable blockchain protocol. Get rewarded for creating and staking, staking digital assets representing real world place. Okay, so you can see right here, register your favorite place in the world, use your mobile phone to take pictures and create an NFT of a place in the world. Create your land ID. Uh, create your real estate wiki profile. The Etherland uh, Estatepedia displays social media, wiki, website, content, real estate data, visuals, videos, map localization, blah, 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 uh, and specific places in the world. On the unique and newly created real estate profile page, users owning the underlying land ID token can create, upload, share, and store real estate uh, anytime that they want to. So pretty interesting stuff right here. Again, it's one of those, it's it's a little bit speculative. If To me, in my opinion, the stronger one is this one right here. I like them both. Um, there's just something about this. Plus, I got to be honest, is this website not badass? I mean, at least in my opinion, I think it totally is. I mean, it absolutely fits that whole genre and that whole vibe of what it's supposed to get. And I mean, right there, fear, and then they've got the spider legs coming out from it, which as we know, there are a lot of people very, very afraid of spiders, my wife being one of them. Me, not so much. Spiders don't do it for me. Snakes, now that's another that's another story. But um, So out of the two, I do like this one better. However, I think either one of them has big upside potential and either one could be, uh, could be very, very popular. This one right here, I could absolutely see because of, oops, um, I could see because of the real estate thing and everything, um, you know, who knows? It could be very popular as well. So, guys, that's all we've got for this one right here. Let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on these? Are there any other ones that you want us to cover in the future for low-cap gems? Let us know in the comments below. With that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next one.